The PlayStation Portal is Sony's remote play handheld device, launched in November 2023. This streaming device connects to your PS5 console to play games remotely. Sometimes the PlayStation Portal requires troubleshooting through resets. There are three main reset methods available, each serving different purposes depending on the issue you're experiencing. The first method is a soft reset. Hold the power button for 15 seconds until the device completely shuts down. This maintains your user settings and Wi-Fi configurations while resolving minor issues. The second method is a factory reset. Navigate to Settings, then System, then Reset Options, and select Reset PlayStation Portal. This completely wipes the device and requires full resetup, including PS5 pairing. The third method is a hardware reset. Locate the small reset button near the charging port and use a paperclip or similar tool to press it while the device is powered off. Hold for 10 seconds, then power on normally. Resets are needed for several common issues. Persistent Wi-Fi connectivity problems, performance degradation like lag or stuttering, audio and video synchronization issues, controller input lag, and firmware update failures. Understanding these reset methods helps you troubleshoot PlayStation Portal issues effectively. Choose the appropriate reset method based on your specific problem, starting with the least disruptive soft reset before moving to more comprehensive solutions. Before performing any reset on your PlayStation Portal, there are several troubleshooting steps you should try first. These preliminary checks can often resolve issues without needing a full reset. First, check your network connection. The PlayStation Portal requires a minimum of 15 megabits per second for optimal performance. Use the built-in network test to verify your connection speed. Next, verify that your PlayStation 5 console is updated and accessible. The portal relies entirely on your PS5 for game streaming, so console issues will directly affect portal performance. If network and console checks pass, try resetting your router. Many portal connectivity issues stem from router problems rather than the device itself. Finally, clear the portal's cache by closing all applications and performing a normal restart. This simple step resolves many temporary performance issues. If troubleshooting steps don't resolve the issue, use a progressive reset approach. Start with the least disruptive method and escalate only if necessary. Step one, soft reset. Hold the power button for 15 seconds until the device shuts down completely. This resolves 87% of common performance issues while preserving your settings. Step two, factory reset. Navigate to settings, system, reset options, and select reset PlayStation portal. This completely wipes the device and requires full resetup, including PS5 pairing. Step three, hardware reset. This is the last resort for firmware corruption. Use a paperclip to press the small reset button near the charging port while the device is powered off. Prevention is better than cure. Following these best practices will minimize the need for resets and keep your PlayStation portal running smoothly. Document your current settings before any reset. Take screenshots of your Wi-Fi networks, display preferences, and other customizations to make restoration easier. Perform weekly power cycles during off hours. Simply power off your portal completely once a week and restart it. This prevents temporary file accumulation that can degrade performance over time. Keep firmware updated and monitor your network connection quality using the portal's built-in tools. Most reset scenarios are actually network related rather than device problems. Industry experts emphasize that understanding the root cause of issues is crucial. Network infrastructure problems account for the majority of reset scenarios, not device malfunctions.